I want you to picture this. It's 1994 and you're eagerly awaiting the release of the follow-up to the classic game, Doom, from the previous year. October 10th climbs closer and closer until finally... It's here. You've waited all this time to play this game. So you spend days, months playing it, until eventually you get bored, as you do with games when you play them too many times. So you put the game down for a little bit, until 1995 comes around, and its software is said to be working on something new. It's supposed to be a re-release of the original Doom, called the Ultimate Doom, and it is meant to include an entire new episode with 9 new levels in it. This was to be called Thy Flesh Consumed, and well, you can't help yourself, you just have to check it out. So, the day has arrived. April 30th, 1995. You have once again eagerly awaited the release of yet another Doom game, which seems to be a yearly occurrence at this point. Spoiler alert, it's not. So you pick the ultra-violence difficulty and you jump right into it. First thing you notice is that the game gives you a shotgun straight away, which you find a bit odd until you step outside and get ambushed by a horde of shotgunners. Which is something you're going to have to get a bit used to because this game absolutely loves shotgunners. And also, I have a confession to make. I forgot to turn my microphone off for the first two levels. Yeah, bear with me. Anyway, something you'll likely be disappointed with is that there's literally no enemies from the second Doom game in this, nor the weapons. Which is kinda odd. Playing through the level, all is going well for you now, until... Yeah. That's a Baron of Hell in the first level. The first level. There also seems to be a large lack in ammo, leading to me having to punch a horde of spectres to death. Moving on. Hold on a minute. I've seen that name before. Why have I seen that? Oh, so that's where Hakita got it from. Okay, now this just isn't fair. Like I said in the last segment, I have no ammo and no health. Oh, never mind. There's a health pack there, it's fine. This level is also a bit of a pain, with once again, a seemingly horde of one enemy showing up. In this case, this level loves the Capo Demon. There's way too many of them and I don't have enough ammo for this. But that's not even the best bit. Let me remind you, this is the second level. As we progress, we see more and more barons. Remember, second level, which I have to fight through with barely any ammo. You then get to this bit where there is a massive wall of pinkies, again, second level. And then, second level, cyber demon there. It's the second level. The level starts. It's open, there's a shotgunner down in the corner. You pause it instantly and go and save out of fear. But then are pleasantly surprised that this is one of the best levels in the game, and that it is in fact not actually torturous. Honestly, this is one of the better levels in my opinion, but it's right around here that you're wishing that you had the super shotgun, because this would have been so much more satisfying if you had the super shotgun. There's a bit where I got lost, and I figured out that time moves differently when you play Doom, because it felt like an hour, but it in fact only took me 11 minutes. But yeah, there's not really much to say. Great level, let's move on. How did I miss that shot? The starting area gives you the impression that this level's going to be rather boring, but actually you're pleasantly surprised once again once you get to the outside areas, which are really good. The only thing I'd say that I'm missing is a bit more enemy variety, and the only reason this is a real problem is because this came out after Doom 2, so they could have easily put the Doom 2 enemies in it. And even more so, it was meant as a teaser for Doom 2 for people who hadn't played it yet. This is also one of the shortest levels, and it's also where I realised that the game is kind of like, out of order. This should have been the first level in my opinion, because it's easier than the first level, and it's also shorter than it. This level's actually really cool when you turn the corner and see this. I actually think I actually really like this level, visually. Gameplay wise, I don't like it. And the only reason I don't like it is because I'm bitter. Because it's once again another level that took me forever to figure out where to go. So I sat there feeling stupid after I realised the exit was really obvious. So yeah, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's move on. This level sucks. 
No, actually, you'll probably find it's one of the better levels. It's just really difficult. Probably one of the most difficult ones in the game. It takes the longest out of them all, and like the second level, you'll probably become sick of seeing Kako Demons, because this level is covered in them. The most interesting part of the level is this big teleporter thing in the middle, which teleports you to different parts of the map depending on which side you come at it from. And you know as you're playing through it you think, oh this is great, as you slowly burn to death trying to get to it. If you're on low health and there's no health packs around so you cannot finish this level, because you'll just die in the lava. And guess what is at the end of the level, right? So, the exit's right there, listen to that. Yeah, that's a cyber demon. Fortunately, you can get the BFG in this level through a secret, so yeah, you're okay. <laughs> Once again, starting off with literally nearly no health, I have to strategically take out the shotgunners so that I don't get one-shotted at the start of the level. As you play through this level, you'll probably notice that there's actually a lot of places that are completely optional to go through, which made it really fun exploring it. There's even a bit where there's a completely optional cyber demon fight where you have to spawn it in yourself. Which is the first time I've seen something like that in an original Doom game, which I thought was really fun. And getting out into this outside area in this level is genuinely one of the best moments in the game. I really, really enjoyed this part. So the next level is of course going to keep up this trend, right? You've got to be joking, right? Yep, the start of this level is basically Plutonia light, as you come face to face with pretty much every hit scanner they could possibly think to put in here, along with Barons and Pinkies. But I can't lie, this was actually quite fun. <laughs> Oh look, a Baron. Oh look, a Baron. Come on now, this is getting a bit excessive. Are you serious? Stepping into this big room at the end of the level, you see once again the boss from the third episode of Doom, the Spider Mastermind, who is back for some reason. And no, this isn't actually that difficult because of the Spider Mastermind itself, only because of the enemies that are around it. If not for them, this would have been the easiest thing ever. If you'd like to see another Doom game from me, covered on this channel, then I highly recommend you check out the video right there.